hey guys, here are your quick fire questions for AQA biology, inheritance, variation and evolution. If you want to get a hard copy of these questions, which we can fill in while we are going along, you can get that over on our website and subscribe so you don't miss all of the other videos. How many cells are produced at the end of mitosis? Handy tip there, it has a T in it, so that is going to be two. And at the end of meiosis, there are four. The male gametes in plants are pollen, and the female gametes in plants are eggs. The male gametes in animals are sperm, and the female gametes in animals are eggs. The basic structure of DNA is a double helix. A gene is a section of DNA that controls for a characteristic. The genome is all of the DNA within an organism. Gametes are sex cells, so sperm, egg or pollen. A chromosome is a long molecule of DNA. Alleles are different versions of genes. If a gene is dominant, it only needs one allele to present it as the phenotype. If a characteristic is recessive, it needs two identical versions of the gene for it to present itself. Homozygous means it has two identical copies of the gene. Heterozygous means it has different copies of the same gene. Your genotype are the genes that you have. Your phenotype are the characteristics that you have. Polydactyly is where you have extra fingers or toes. And polydactyly is dominant, which means you only need to have one version of the polydactyly gene to express the phenotype of having extra fingers or toes. Cystic fibrosis is a mutation in a gene which stops um, water and ions moving about properly, and it causes the build-up of mucus, specifically the build-up of mucus in the lungs, which makes it hard for people to breathe. And cystic fibrosis is recessive, meaning you need to have two copies of the cystic fibrosis gene if you are going to show the disease. In a human body cell, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. XX is female, and XY is male. Evolution is where species gradually change over time and natural selection is the process by which species evolve. Speciation is the development of a new species. Evidence from evolution comes from the fossil record. Fossils arrive from the bones, the hard bits of the body. The soft bits of the body decay away. Extinction is a process for species dying out. A large number of things can lead to extinction. It could be um, hunting, it could be an increase in prey, a decrease in food, a change in the environment. Bacteria can evolve so quickly because they divide every 20 minutes. MRSA stands for methicillin resistant strat aureus and it's a multi-drug resistant bacteria meaning it is resistant to the majority of antibiotics. The development of new antibiotics is so slow because it takes a long time to find new compounds and there is not a lot of incentive for the drug development companies to produce them. Variation is the advantage to sexual reproduction. The disadvantage is that an organism is diluting its genes. The advantages of asexual reproduction is that you don't need to wait around to find a partner and you are producing clones of yourself. The disadvantages of asexual reproduction is the lack of variation. The basic structure of DNA is a double helix. The bases in DNA are A together with T and C together with G. DNA codes for amino acids by sets of three bases which are triplet codons. 
long strings of amino acids fold up together to make proteins. Variations within the DNA can affect the amino acids that are selected for the protein, which means the protein might misfold, it means it might not work properly. For example, in an enzyme, the active site might be the wrong shape. Darwin came up with the theory of evolution, gradual changes over time. And this was controversial because it went against God. Lamarck's theory was that characteristics developed during a lifetime were passed on to the offspring. 